Hey, what's up everybody? Angry K9 here, back again with another Minecraft tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to use the profile system in the new Minecraft game launcher. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is run the game. And the launcher will come up with its information screen and then bring us back to this screen that we are all so familiar with. Now, in the latest version of the launcher, in this case version 0.9.4, there are two ways to add a new profile to the system. The first way is to go up here where these tabs are and click on the Profile Editor tab, and then just right-click anywhere in the field and choose Add Profile. The second way is to go over here to this Profile Selection area and click on the New Profile button and what I usually do is name my profiles depending on the version of Minecraft that I'm going to run. In this case, I'm setting up a profile for the latest snapshot 13W25B. So that is what I'm going to name my profile. You can name it anything that you want. If you want to specify a different game directory than the default, you can click on this tick box here and then type in the name of the directory that you want to store install Minecraft in. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and use the default directory, so we'll leave that alone. Now in this drop down here is where you choose the version that you want to run. In this case, we're setting up a profile for version 13W25B. So that is what we are going to choose for the version. Now these settings down here are if you want to specify a different location for your Java executable, perhaps you want to run a different version of Java, maybe a development version or an older version, you can click this tick box here and specify where the Java exe file is that you want to use. But we're going to leave that alone. And this tick box you can check if you want to send arguments to the Java machine. A virtual machine if you want to specify maybe more memory or some other information you want to pass on to JVM you can do that here but we don't need to do that so we're going to leave that alone as well so once we have all this information set the way we need it just click on save profile and as you can see here in the profile editor screen 13w25b is now there and since we haven't logged it in yet it will not have a username there it will simply say not logged in so when we're ready to play, we go over to this drop-down box here and pick the profile that we just added, 13W25B. And then we'll go down here and we'll enter our username and our password, and then we can start the game. After we've entered our username and password and clicked on play, the game should load up. At this point, if you want to, you can close out the launcher because it is not necessary to have open for the game to run. And as you can see, we are now in Minecraft version 13W25B and ready to try out the new features and bug fixes in the latest snapshot. So as you can see, it's very simple. There's really nothing to it. The new launcher has opened up a lot of new possibilities and there are a lot of cool things coming our way which I'm really excited for and looking forward to. So I hope the video helped. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. My name is Angry K9 and I will see you next time.